Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a force pulling mechanic with Circuits version 2. I've already done a tutorial like this, but this one is going to go more in depth and I've added some circuits to make it run a little smoother. Let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, we're going to want to open our watch, go to our backpack, and then click use on our maker pen. Now, now that we've gotten our maker pen, we're going to want to go into the palette in the top left right here. Once we're in our palette, we're going to want to go to circuits version 2, and we're going to go ahead and grab three chips. A right hand get velocity. A right hand get position. And then we're going to want a chip that's just called get position. Now that we've got these three chips, we're going to want to get a circuits version 2 button so that this only works when the button is pressed. So you can find the button under gadgets, circuits version 2 gadgets, and on the second page right here. Okay, so now that we've gotten that button, we're going to want to wire some stuff up. Get position to player under this pressed. We're, gonna, we're just going to wire everything to that one. Now we're going to need an if chip. We're going to put that right under here. We're going to wire is pressed to the condition. And then we're going to get another chip called the event receiver. We're going to configure this event receiver under chip settings, event, this is scroll your down a little bit. It's on update 30 Hertz. We're going to wire these two together. If to event receiver. Okay. So the next chip we're going to need is a rec room. Get all with tag. We're now going to need a chip called for each. We're going to wire the object with tag pin to the for each pin. All right, now we're going to wire the X pin to then. All right, now we're going to need a, another get position chip. We can just clone this one that we've already made over. We're gonna put that right here. We're gonna wire the get position to the for each. Now we're going to need a vector split. We're gonna put that right here. We're going to need a greater than or equal to chip. Greater or equal. Then we're going to wire the player right hand velocity to the vector split and the Y to the A pin. We're then going to configure this B pin to three. We're now going to need a subtract chip. We're going to wire the first pin to the get position wired to the for each and the second pin wired to the player right hand position. We're now going to need a distance chip. We're going to wire one pin to the get position from the player and the other pin to the get position from the for each. We're now going to need a less than or equal to or a less or equal. 
we're now going to wire the A to the distance and configure the bottom pin to 10. We're now going to need an if chip. Actually, we can just clone our one from over here. We're going to need two of those. One right here and one right here. We're going to wire our for each loop pin into the if chip. The result of our greater or equal is going to be the condition. Then we're going to wire the then pin to the other if wire the result of the less or equal to the condition. And now we're going to spawn in a velocity set. Right here. We're now going to wire the then to set velocity, the target to for each, the direction to subtract. Now, we need to spawn in a prop. I find that paint shotguns are pretty cool, so let's do a paint shotgun. Uh, paint shotgun. We're going to want to configure the paint shotgun and put a tag at the bottom. We're going to put the tag, you can put this wherever you want, I'm just going to put this as, you know, F. Or, why not force? Then we're going to want to still grab our configure tool, go to our rec room get all with tag, and configure this purple pin to whatever we put as the tag for the shotgun. So I put force. One thing you do want to note is for this subtract chip, I'm gonna move it up a little bit. For the first pin, you wanna make sure this is wired to the get position for the player on the first one. And you wanna make sure the second one is the get position for the item. If you mix these up, then the shotgun will actually push away from you uh, rather than go towards you. So as you can see, if we, um, oh, I gotta press the button here. <laughs> Once we press the button, we can, uh, you know, kinda force pull it to us. It's pretty, uh, pretty fun to play around with. You can kinda throw it up and catch it. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool little contraption. Alright, so that was the tutorial on Circuits V2 force pulling. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. But for now, peace.